uh, the results have been incredible. So let's talk about some of those results and, and, and how you started changing as a lawyer because I mean you're a medical malpractice lawyer up in, up in New York and so did you start adding content to the website or what, what did you start doing that, was, that, that brought these cases to you? Well basically everything, what I found out, this is a little magic trick, is that if you write about very esoteric keywords, concepts, like for example in cerebral palsy there's a term called carnicterus. Nobody knows what carnicterus means but I started writing about it and it turns out I'm the only one on the web writing about carnicterus. Now you wouldn't know what carnicterus, so nobody Unless would know. Unless somebody told me, and then I would go type it into Google. Unless you had a child who had carnicterus, right. and then you would be intimately familiar with the concept. So by writing about very esoteric terms, what I found out is the web is not flooded with this stuff. I'm the only one showing up for these concepts. Perforated esophageal dilation, there's not that much out there. I'm writing about it. So I started writing about all my cases, just the details. I didn't worry about keywords, having this word here, this word there. I just write great, valuable content. I flooded my website with the best content and I gave everything away. And what I found out is not only that people appreciated it, they saw that I was the perfect lawyer for their case. It's very interesting because that's what we've been preaching to lawyers for years and years and years. And one of the problems, and you know this problem too because you work with a lot of lawyers, is they have a hard time digesting that. They focus on you know, the keywords. They focus on you know, just the, the practice area itself instead of what you just said, which is answering the questions that people have, right? Exactly. And so by going out there and really just being natural in telling this is what's going on out there, this is probably what's happened to your child or, or whatever condition, then people will type that into Google and naturally come to you, right? Absolutely. When many lawyers are going to put invest a ton of money in New York medical malpractice lawyer for pay-per-click and all that kind of stuff. The biggest mistake that lawyers make is they think it's about them. The consumers don't care about you and they don't care about me. But if you give them valuable information about a concept that is relevant to them, and you not just make it one thing, but you have a stream of articles and content and video that is written as if it's just for them, then, I'll, then you're gonna get flooded with calls. And I'll tell you a story. Just uh, two months ago, somebody in Arizona who was in a federal penitentiary called me about a case involving a delay in cancer diagnosis. I didn't know this guy. I'm not admitted to Arizona, but I said I can help you out a little bit. Turns out the uh, attorneys for the other side wanted to settle the case. So instead of referring it to an, another attorney, I settled it. And just in the last two or three months is a $850,000 settlement. That case I got because the inmate's daughter had called me about his case. She found out that I was the perfect lawyer for colorectal cancer. Now, I would never have had this case if not for your website, and that's a fee of over $200,000. But in the last year, I've gotten cases from all over the country, Maryland, Texas, you name it, that I don't have to spend a penny. In fact, that has been over seven figures that I've made just through internet marketing out of New York, New York State. But no pay-per-click. No paper. No paper click. None. Just you, yourself, adding content through DSS to your own website. That's it. And just giving valuable content, not talking about myself, but trying to help people with their problems.